A South Florida teenager accused of brutally killing his own mother back in court today. Moments ago, a judge ruled that testimony would continue tomorrow morning. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister joins us now from downtown Miami with what else happened in the courtroom. The 13 year old suspect was stoic until they played his confession tape. Then he put his head in his hands while his grandmother was crying hysterically. His defense attorneys are arguing that he should be moved to a juvenile facility. Right now, he's being held in Metro West Detention Center, and he is the youngest inmate there. This 13 year old boy is accused of stabbing his mother to death as she slept next to his 14 day old sister in Hialeah back in October. According to police, the boy called 911 and confessed to the crime. After after his mother was killed. Investigators recently released pictures of evidence from inside the apartment where the murder happened, including a picture of a long knife with blood on it. Today, the juvenile's defense attorneys argued that being in an adult facility will impact him psychologically, that he isn't getting enough social interaction, and that his safety is at risk being around adult inmates. A correctional officer testified that though the juvenile is in a cell alone because he has a high profile case, he's always monitored by guards and frequently speaks with them. The correctional officer also said that the 13 year old has been able to play basketball and interact with a 17 year old inmate. And during the hearing, prosecutors played his confession tape where he explains how he killed his mother. A psychologist who works with the juvenile also testified. The defense asked the doctor if she believed the juvenile was on the autism spectrum, but the psychologist replied that she didn't have enough information to answer that question. Prosecutors brought up the 13 year old's grade saying he was in advanced classes and had A's and B's in school. So far, the juvenile has been housed in Metro West for 50 days. Reporting in Miami, Adam McAllister, CBS News, Miami.